Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson, we will see how to use the parent command to attach the propeller to the plane. When we have two or more separate objects in the scene, we can connect them by using the parent command. When we do this, we create a hierarchy where one object is the parent object and the other object is the child object. In this hierarchy, all transformations we make with the parent object will also affect the child object. But what we do with the child object will not affect the parent object. To define the hierarchy and use the command, we will first select the object that will be the child and, with the Shift key pressed, add the object that will be the parent to the selection. Then, just right-click to open the context menu and click on Parent Object. When we do this, we define a hierarchy where the last selected object is the parent and the first selected object is the child. That way, if we select the parent object and move rotate or scale, we will see that all the transforms will affect the child object. However, if we select the child object and use the transformation tools, we will see that the parent object will not be affected. Now, let's do this to the scene of our plane. But first, I will ask you to activate the rotation tool here in the toolbar, select the propeller and rotate it on the y-axis. If it's spinning from its central axis, it's alright. But if by chance it's spinning from a point that is not in the middle of the propeller, you may have done something different during the modeling process that left the object's pivot a little off-axis. This is not a big problem. If this is happening, use Ctrl-Z to undo the rotation and return the Alex to the starting point. And then, right-click to open the context menu, Click on Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. This command will make the object's pivot be positioned exactly in its center. So, if you rotate the object now, you will probably see that the propeller will be rotating correctly. And then we can already use the parent command to connect the propeller to the plane. So, just select the propeller first and, while holding down the Shift key, select the plane. Now, just right-click, click on Parent, Object. And with that, the connection is made and the transformations we make with the plane will affect the propeller. and the transformations we make with the propeller will not affect the plane. And with that, our plane is ready for animation. In the next lessons, we will see some basic animation principles and we will create a simple animation for our plane. 